welcome to this episode of the Arizona Thomas Tours. Today I'm standing in the oldest courthouse in Arizona. That's right, it's right here in Florence. It's called the McFarland Courthouse. Also in this Florence area was the largest POW camp in Arizona. Stay tuned for this episode of the Arizona Timeless Tours. The camp began construction on January 27, 1942 under the direction of the U.S. Army solely for housing the Italian, then German prisoners captured in North Africa and Europe. At the time, England was becoming overcrowded with prisoners of war. The camp became Arizona's largest POW camp with an overall total of 13,000 prisoners during the brief four-year history. Right here it says where were the camps located in the United States of America, where were all the POW camps? camps and they got a nice little map right here with look at all these dots on this map did you know this I sure did again this courthouse is the oldest courthouse in the state of Arizona absolutely beautiful I love these floors they creak when you walk I almost stepped on my glasses unbelievable area you need to get out here and check this place out By June of 1944, America had approximately 300 prisoner of war camps. And by 1945, there were 666 camps. So in Arizona, there were a total of 24 POW camps, but the two largest POW camps were in Florence, where I'm at right now, and Papago Park. I will try to put that Papago Park video right up here so you can check it out, or I'll put it down in the information area. Check it out. Papago Park used to be a POW camp, just in case you didn't know. Okay, I'm gonna again put the old specs on. I'm gonna turn the camera around in just a minute, but there's a listing right here of all 24 the POW camps. There was one in Queen Creek. I did a video on that. If you check out the uh, history of Queen Creek part one, uh, I'll show you what the location of that POW camp was. That was more of a tent kind of place where they used them to pick potatoes. They were, they were farmers. But uh, let me show you the listing of all of the POW camps around Arizona. Now the prisoners housed at this particular uh, POW camp in Florence were Italian and German soldiers that were caught in North Africa. I find it interesting, it's showing how electricity was brought through the camp. I was just at the Mesa Historical Society and out at the Park of the Canals and stuff, and when I learned that electricity came to the Mesa around Phoenix area in 1897, they had electricity here using the old Indian canals, the old Hohomacum canals, and it says that they were using those same Indian, Indian canal ways to bring electricity to this POW camp. Side camps were also established. They were tent cities. 
and they were used during the time when it was time to harvest cotton or vegetables from the field. So how would the prisoners get to this part of Arizona? They would arrive and depart very close to the camp near the Southern Pacific Railroad line. They would drop them off or pick them up there and then bring them here to the camp. Look, I've read and studied a lot about the POW camps in Arizona, and out there at Papago Park, the best place to go is the Arizona Military Museum that's on an active base in Papago Park. They have a lot of good stuff there, but I'm gonna tell you what, I've never really seen pictures like this that they have here in Florence, in the McFarland Courthouse. They have pictures of the, uh, the POWs getting on and off the Pacific Railroad right here. This picture is an unbelievable shot right here. Then they have them being transported. They have two soldiers with a German POW in the middle. They have the, uh, the POWs at work. They have a lot of, of pictures that I have never seen before. This is a song composed by a German POW at, at the camp in Florence. It's called the Arizona Song. It starts out saying, where the sun makes the high rocks red, where on wide plains great herds roam, where oranges ripen and the cotton blooms, German prisoners of war are far from their homeland. Where the columns of cacti stand in the desert and the Americans count us three times daily, where is this great camp behind barbed wire, German prisoners of war are watched over keenly. Did you know that Ernest McFarland was the father of the GI Bill? He served during World War I and saw how hard it was after the war for education and of higher learning and the getting jobs for soldiers. So he started on this bill that passed in 1945 and became the GI Bill. Ernest McFarland is responsible for that. It says here that Ernest W. McFarland is one of Arizona's greatest public servants. Throughout his career, he served as a U.S. Senator and the Senate Majority Leader, the Governor of Arizona, and the Chief Justice of the Arizona Supreme Court. All right, so that was an awesome visit here at the McFarland Courthouse. Again, built and starting being used in 1878, the oldest courthouse in, the, in Arizona. Uh, served as a hospital in 1891 for 50 years, but heading home because from around the Gilbert Queen Creek area to get here, you had to take like Hunt Highway, and it's about 23 or 24 miles, but it'll take me 45 to 50 minutes like it did to get here, and I gotta pick up my son from the, uh, from the bus. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would ask that you would hit that subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing, and until next time, take care.